Hey everyone, it's Janome Man, aka Michael Smith, and welcome to my sewing room. Now, normally before anyone uh, comes over, I always like to tidy up and make sure everything's beautiful, but I was thinking we're old friends by now, right? Maybe your sewing room looks a little bit like this. You may not have the fabulous Scarlett O'Hara looking over your shoulder, but overall you don't mind the clutter. Of course, I've been working lots at home, as many of you, and I thought I would just do this little video to talk about some of our machines. You know, I've been with Janome now for about three and a half years as an educator, but my love affair with Janome goes way beyond that, which I will get into in just a minute. Uh, I did want to mention, though, that uh, recently, a couple of months ago, I accepted a promotion with Janome Canada. So I'm now the National Consumer Education Manager. So what that means is I'm responsible for developing and teaching classes from our new Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario. So I will be doing lots of classes, everything about uh, Janome products, all the feet, software, you name it, we'll do it. But obviously everything's on hold for right now, but soon, whenever we get the go ahead, we'll be ready to go. So in the meanwhile, you can write me at classes at janome-canada.com. So that's classes at janome-canada.com. And tell me what machines you have. Tell me your questions, concerns with Janome, what classes you would like and we'll certainly get you on the mailing list. So again, when we're ready to go, we're good to go. But again, for today's video, I wanted to talk about some Janome machines, because as again, as an educator, I get uh, use of all the machines. So for example, this is the fabulous new Continental M7 with its 3.5 inches of throat space from center needle position, or 13.7 inches from left needle position. So fabulous machine, but again, it's on loan to me. Whereas about five years ago, before I joined Janome as an educator, I bought the fabulous top of the line memory craft 15,000. And just like you, I went to the many of the shows. In fact, it was, I think, Fall Creative that's in uh, Mississauga. Although back in those days, it was still downtown Toronto. So I went down to uh, the show and saw this fabulous machine, met one of the Janome dealers. We talked about all my needs and wants. Uh, I thought, oh, it was still a high ticket item. I wasn't sure. But you know, many of our Janome dealers offer financing. So that's another option available, possibly, in order to get you the machine of your dreams. So luckily that worked out for my favor. So again, I love my 15,000. What I especially love is, again, it's mine. Uh, nobody can take it away from me. So I'm very thrilled with that. But again, way back before then, while I was a struggling student uh, studying fashion design at Sheridan College in Oakville, I bought, I saw this little newspaper ad in my local newspaper. Uh, you know, I'm from Tilsonburg, so I was down uh, visiting my father and in the Tilsonburg News was this little ad from the Janome dealer there saying we've got extra machines, uh, school machines left over, so a super great deal. So I went down to the store, test drove the machine, which is this cute little guy here. So this is 28 years old that I bought this, uh, let's see, model number 344. I never remember the numbers. Uh, it says limited edition, but again, it was a fabulous machine. I didn't have a lot of money when I was in school, so I needed a good quality, reliable, affordable machine that I could use in the off hours uh, after our studios closed at 10 o'clock at the college. I had to go home and sew all night, so I needed a good machine to do that. This is when I fell in love with Janome. Now here is even, I found December 14th, 1992, the original sales receipt of that machine. Dare I tell you the price? They were offering it at, again, this is 28 years ago, but it was $2.98. Now we also have entry-level Janome machines, just as that, in and around this same price. You know, they really haven't gone up that much in order to get a good machine. You don't always have to start out with top of the line. You can start off very simple. Uh, check out the instruction manual too. 
Again, lots of good information, but still very simple, very basic. But again, that's all I needed at the time. It lasted me all through school. And in fact, lasted me a good 20 something years until I bought this beautiful top of the line machine. Now I no longer sew on this cute little 28 year old machine, but I will never part with it. I absolutely love it. It's certainly sentimentally attached to me. Now, interestingly enough, if you go to the genomi.ca website, you will see this is the HD 1000. Don't you say that is the same machine or very similar because the HD 1000 here, it has a needle threader. Whereas my little guy, 28 years old, does not have a needle threader. So they've taken basically the same skeleton, but added a couple of extra features to it. But this HD 1000 is still kind of entry level a little bit above that but still a very good basic heavy duty machine so i was thrilled to find that out hey i got the the predecessor of this hd 1000 but i didn't know it at the time now one reason why our genomi machines again last 28 years and even uh, over that genomi is almost 100 years old you know but why they last is all the machines start out as this now clearly this isn't the skeleton for this machine or this machine, but they all start out as a cast aluminum base on which all the other pretty parts and pieces are added to it. But it's a very good sturdy, lightweight in order to carry it and transport it, but very good and sturdy. So this is again another reason why Genomi machines will last forever. I'm sure these machines will outlive me, so hopefully somebody's going to inherit this one. Now, and especially on this little guy too, I just wanted to point out as a beginner quilter, probably my first 40 machine, uh, first 40 quilts started out on this little machine as well. So I wanted to uh, tell you all too, you don't need a big fancy machine. Yes, this is great and wonderful. And if you can do it, do it. But if you're just starting out and you're concerned again, space and budget, if you're not really sure you're gonna fall in love with quilting as I did, uh, then maybe you want to start off a little smaller. So great, this is kind of all you need to get started. And from there, then you can jump up and upgrade to one of these sorts of things. So I'll post other videos in future. In fact, I want to show you all my big quilt wall that's around uh, the corner here in my studio. So I'll post that in future. So for now, I just wanted to say thank you for joining me in my sewing room. And I will see you all again very soon. And again, make sure you write me at classes at genome dash canada.com. Thanks very much and I'll see you later. Bye.